What is up guys, Smash Beans here, and today I'm joined by the ever wonderful LD Shadow Lady, aka Lizzie, as I like to call her. And we are going to be doing something quite interesting today. We're going to be reading some fan fiction. Now, not some fan fiction, just one fan fiction I've found called Jizzy, the story so far. Joel, Lizzie, Jizzy. It's Jizzy. You see, the synopsis of this is Lizzie is considered the nerd at school. She gets bullied and no one stands up for her. Oh. Yeah, Joel is considered pretty cool and hates school. He thinks Lizzie is pretty, but way too nerdy. Sorry, Lizzie. But when Joel needs a tutor and he gets Lizzie, will he fan? That's it. It just says F.A. Will he fa? Will he fa? Will he fa? So there's two point of views. There's Lizzie's point of view and then there's my point of view. So Lizzie. Do you want to read my point of view and I'll read- No, I'm joking. You read your point of view. Are you ready? Yeah. For something amazing, because I've read a little bit of this. So this is Lizzie's point of view. Hi, my name is Lizzie. I have an ex-boyfriend named Kevin. Man, he was a jerk. Anyways, I love school. I'm really smart and get lots and lots of A's and A stars. Oh wait, no, sorry. A stars and A star stars. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> my friend Yami is smart too. But my friend Tiffany, not so much. I, I feel like that's cupcake. Yeah, that might be cupcake. Sorry, sorry, Tiff. <laughs> I didn't write this. There is this one kid, Joel, in my school. He is dumb. What? <laughs> okay, so dumb. It says he is so dumb. He is so dumb. <sighs> Anyways, even though I'm a nerd, that doesn't mean that I don't like shopping. <laughs> my friends and I always go shopping. There is one kid at school named Luke. Luke is a big bully. Oh no. Oh, I'm crying a little bit. <laughs> he only bullies me though because I'm a nerd. It really hurts in both ways. <laughs> I don't know what they're both are. Physically <laughs> and emotionally. Uh, okay. Pushes me in a locker okay. and he calls me a nerd. Okay. Which is actually a compliment to be honest. Like who who gets upset at being oh, yeah. called intelligent? That's true. No one stands up for me though. I'm sorry. Also, I forgot to mention that I have a YouTube channel called LD Shadow Lady. I have around 810,340 subscribers, approximately. <laughs> <laughs> I think that it is because nobody knows that it is me who makes the videos except for Yami and Tiff. So that is all about me. Bye! So we got to know a lot about you there, Lizzie. You nerd. Meanwhile, I'm pretty cool. And here is my point of view. Are you ready? What's up? My name is Joel. I wouldn't consider myself popular, but I am known to be pretty cool. I hate school so much. I don't understand. So much. <laughs> I don't understand how some people, like that Lizzie girl, could enjoy being locked up in a classroom all day. Since when are we locked I in? Don't know. I mean, I probably would like school if I was good at it, like Lizzie. Lizzie is super smart and kind of pretty, but too smart for me. I have a YouTube channel called Smallish Beans with over 1 million subscribers. Wait, why have you got more than me? It says just pretend. Oh. Okay, I like this so far. I, I have this one sort of friend named Luke. The bully. By sorta, I mean he's pretty mean to a lot of people and bullies Lizzie. Yeah, I bully! <laughs> woo woo! I want to stand up for her, but I'm afraid that he will hate me. I have a girlfriend named Mackenzie. <laughs> she is beautiful, but I'm thinking about breaking up with her. <laughs> okay? She can be pretty annoying. Anyway, gotta go. The teacher is coming. Peace out. So I think this really sets the scene for both characters here. <laughs> Lizzie, the nerd, me, just a horrible, mean person who is friends with bullies, but kind of think Lizzie's cute. Oh. Moving on to chapter two. Back to Lizzie's point of view. Mrs. Mabels came in and started passing out our quizzes and our highest scorer is Lizzie with an A star star, well she done. said. I happily took my quiz <laughs> and looked over at Yami. She showed me her paper and she had gotten an A star. I mean, not quite as good as me, no. but A star star, but still pretty good, Yami. I was happy for her. I looked at Tiffany and she showed me her paper. She got a D minus. <laughs> I gave her a better look next time look. What is that look? Let me just see that look. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and she gave me a thanks look back. What does that look like? I looked in the back row and could see that Joel had gotten an F. You know, with my uh, microscope yeah. vision. Yeah. That was not good. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Mrs. Mabel's cleared her throat. Now, as for Joel and Tiffany, you two need tutors. One of you will be tutored by Lizzie and the other one will be tutored by Yami. We're the only four people in the class. Tiffany will be tutored by Yami and Joel will be tutored by Lizzie. Everyone started making kissy noises, which grossed me out. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Mabel's told them to be quiet and that was that. My point of view. Great, an F. My parents are going to kill me. Then, boom, I need a tutor. I kind of want Lizzie since she is really smart and kind of cute. Well, at least I got Lizzie as my tutor. Now to see how it goes. Oof, I feel like a romance is blooming. 
Why? Why? Why can't I just tutor you? Yeah, that's true. And have a success Be story. Because it's a fan fiction, Lizzie. As I was getting my things from my locker, I felt a tap on my shoulder. As I turned around, I was greeted by a sweaty Luke. Sweaty. A sweaty Luke. <laughs> hey, nerd! I just got back from football practice and wanted to know if you wanted to drink my sweat. Ew. Ew. He squeezed his sweaty sock over my head. <sighs> Everyone was laughing, except for my friends and Joel. Oh, I'm a good guy. He then slapped me and punched me in the stomach! Oh, Luke! Oh. oh my heck, this is not bully, this is a, a blooming assault! I fell to the ground. Then, something that I never thought would happen, suddenly happened. Hey Luke! Stop it. You're hurting her. That was really creepy. Thank Why you. Why did you say it like that? Hey Luke! I say, from my position <laughs> on the ground. Luke says, I don't care, she is just a stupid nerd. This made me cry. Apparently Joel saw me crying. See what you're doing to her? <laughs> God, read it, read it. I thought you were reading this uh, part. Toughen up. And then Luke kicks her in the face. I cry even more and my nose starts to bleed. Oh, look at the little baby. Ha ha ha. I couldn't stand to see Lizzie beaten up. I mean, she didn't even do anything. I ran over to her. She was crying and bleeding. Are you okay? I was worried. Thank you. She whispered. Thank you? For what? For standing up for me. No one has ever stood up for me before. She muttered. I helped her up and walked away. I turned to say something to see Luke coming towards her. Oh, and one more thing. Smashes her head into her locker. Ow. Luke, you need to see a <laughs> psychologist, man. Lizzie uh, goes, goes unconscious. Ha ha ha, walks away. <laughs> I don't like, like Lizzie, this Luke guy. I'm sorry about him, okay. Lizzie, I yelled. I ran over to her. I checked to make sure she was breathing and thank goodness she was. I carried her bridal style to the nurse's office. The nurse said that she was okay and that I could leave. Man, this is an emotional roller coaster. This Luke guy really needs some help. What were the emotions that you were going through? Like pain, watching you. Isn't like... a roller coaster up and down? <laughs> At some point, were you ecstatic? Uh, Happy? Excited? I was not. No, I guess not. It's just one emotion. Sadness. Back to my point of view. As I'm walking away from the nurse's office, I hear my name being called loudly. I turn around and see angry Mackenzie, Mackenzie, I forgot about her, stomping towards me. This can't be good. I'll do Mackenzie. Okay, you do voice. Mackenzie, all right. Joel, why were you carrying that girl like that? Mac, chill. She's just a friend. She got hurt, so I was helping her. <laughs> why did you help her? It was funny. Besides, who cares about her anyway? She's just a stupid nerd. Joel gets angry. <laughs> she is so much more than that, unlike you. All you are is a mean and snobby and sensitive. Wait, what? And if you think that it's funny to see her get hurt, then we are through. <gasps> Fine. I've never liked you anyways. She storms off. Did you like storming off? Yeah, nice. Hang on, I've got to storm back <laughs> in. Then why did you date me? Silence. I've already stormed off. Lizzie's probably up by now. I should go check on her. Ow, oh. I'm sorry, I'm not Luke, I promise Luke, I'm not Luke. Luke. That was an accident. <laughs> Turns out I'm dating sweaty Luke all along. <laughs> That's how it ends. <laughs> I wake up with blood on my shirt. I jolt up and realise I'm in the nurse's office. I don't remember what happened. The last thing I remember is Luke was about to smash my head into the locker. I see Joel walk in. How are you feeling? Okay, my head hurts like crazy. Did Luke smash my head into a locker? Because that's the last thing I remember. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool. Good to know. Yeah. Well, how did I get here? Well, I um sort of c c carried you here. Oh, um, thank you. You're welcome. The nurse came in and checked me. She said that I was fine and that I could go to lunch. Joel walked me out. I made sure Luke wasn't around before making a dash to the lunchroom. Lizzie's point of view still. When we got to lunch, Joel asked me if he could sit with me. I was shocked that a guy like Joel wanted to sit with me. Sure, but what about Mackenzie? Oh, I, um, broke up with her. Oh, why? She thought it was funny to see you hurt. Oh, Joel! <laughs> Thank you, but you didn't have to. Yes, I did. So when do you want to start the tutoring? Oh, I'm glad that he changed the subject. Well, we could go to the library after school. Sounds good to me. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of characters here. Joel, you dumped me for that nerd. Mac, chill. I already told you that we are just friends. Hashtag friendzone. Lol. Oh no, here comes Luke. Hey, nerd. It turns to Joel, then Mackenzie, then back to Joel. So I heard you two broke up. But really, Joel, you dumped Mac for this nerd? He slapped me. Slaps Lizzie. I fall to the ground and cry. I am useless. Luke. 
stop hurting her. Why should he? Mackenzie dumps her lunch over Lizzie. I cry and then run to the janitor's closet. I follow. Lizzie, I knock on the door. Are you okay? Uh, Yami and Tiffany run over and pound on the door, telling me to let them in. I slowly open the door and was embraced by my besties. I felt special. Yami let me borrow some extra clothes that she had with her. I changed in a stall. When I came out, they took a paper towel, wet it, and cleaned the food out of my hair. Then Tiff braided my hair into a fishtail. They walked me to class and then walked me home just in case Mackenzie and Luke were around. I'm proud to call them my friends. Wow, they are some good friends. I know. That was cute. That was a cute moment. I just disappeared though. What happened to me? I was by that door and I'm gone. <laughs> you were waiting by the wrong door. Later, Lizzie and I went to the library. She was asking me the all sort of questions that I didn't know the answers to. What is the square root of 64? Um, a circle? This made her giggle. Her giggles are so cute. After a few more hours of seeing her adorable face torture me with math, language arts, blah blah blah, and ETC. You asked me to chew at you, yeah, I'm not torturing you. <laughs> I asked her if she wanted to go out for pizza when we were done. I waited for her to reject me, but surprisingly, she said yes. I was so happy. I dropped her off at her house so she could change. She came out and looked adorable. Her brown hair, she will dye it pink later in the story, <laughs> was down <laughs> hiding behind the rims of her glasses. Oh, you wear glasses now. Oh wait, I've got some glasses. Oh my gosh, they are proper good glasses. <laughs> I'm gonna do the rest of the story like this. Okay. She had on a white lace shirt and a black skirt. Eee! <laughs> 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 I think I just got asked out, but I'm not sure. Joel asked me if I wanted to go get pizza with him, and of course I said yes. I never used to like Joel, but after seeing him stand up for me today and being super funny at the library, I think I'm gonna start developing feelings for him. <laughs> I can't take you seriously in those glasses. Am I crazy? Maybe. I just hope that he likes me, at least a little. I'm praying that he doesn't turn out like Kevin, my ex. Flashback! Lizzie to Kevin. Oh my gosh. Kevin, no! He had tied her to a chair and was hitting her. He was kissing her continuously and was sitting on her lap. At first, Kevin seemed so sweet, but now he was showing his true colours. Do people what? think people actually act like this? That's not normal! Yeah. No, I won't stop. Now shut up and be a good girl. Continues to kiss at Kevin? No. Kevin, stop. Kevin knocks Lizzie out and she wakes up chained hanging from the ceiling. Who has shackles hanging from I the ceiling know. with chains? Kevin! Her legs are tied together and there is a bandana tied around her mouth. Kevin pops up out of nowhere and slaps her. He kisses that her- That would be funny animated. <laughs> <laughs> he kisses her for a few minutes with Lizzie screaming for help, suddenly the police barge in. The neighbors called the police complaint about screaming being heard. Kevin was sentenced to eight years in prison. Lizzie hasn't dated anyone since. Yeah, that was a terrible experience. Heck, like, holy moly, Kevin, I'm sorry for you. If, any, if, if anyone out there, if anyone out there has a boyfriend that is chaining them to the ceiling and kissing them while they scream for minutes on end. Leave. Seek help. Yes. Women's refuge. I'm thinking on asking Lizzie out. Our date night went well last night. We were laughing, talking, and just goofing off. I've never seen this side of her before. She acts so different in school. Last night when I dropped her off, I gave her a quick kiss on the lips. Oh my gosh. She looked shocked and started blushing like crazy. It was so cute. She said that it was her first kiss, except for the times her boyfriend tied her up and kissed her. So I already know about Kevin. I don't know about that. I felt so bad. This poor girl was getting hurt and never did anything wrong. I needed to fix this. I decided to text her. Yes, I have a number. We exchanged numbers last night. Hey, what's up? Just reading one of my old books. Oh, cool. Not really. Anyway, I was just wondering, since things seemed to go well last night, if you wanted to be my girlfriend. Silence over Silence text. over text. <laughs> oh, great, Joel. You really messed up this time. Now everything is going to be awkward between the two of us. I probably just ruined our friendship. Oh, wait. She is texting back. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Really? I got my phone. <laughs> <laughs> really? Thank you. I thought I just ruined our friendship and that things were going to be awkward between us. No, everything is fine. Wait, Joel, I hear something downstairs and I'm home alone. If I don't text in five minutes, come to my house. Okay. Stay safe. Oh my gosh. Man, I hope she is okay. Lizzie's point of view. I hear something downstairs. My parents are at work and my sister has gone to her friend's house. I tell Joel to come to my house if I don't text him back in five minutes. I go downstairs and I see nothing at first. Then I feel a sharp pain in my back and I fall to the ground. Oh, man. Black. I have an unfortunate life. Wait, you're gonna get. Oh my god, Kevin's back. Maybe you should leave it there, yeah, cliffhanger. Yeah. Just leave it on me saying, oh my god, Kevin's back. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're gonna leave it there, guys. Maybe we'll record the second half of the story another time, but. 
We're going to leave it on a cliffhanger. Thank you to whoever wrote this, Yandere Unicorn on Wattpad. Hilarious, very, very enjoyable. Do you think it was meant to be hilarious? Uh, Kevin. Oh, not hilarious. Kevin and Luke. People don't act like that. Some people do. Yeah, some people do, but please stop abusing us in story form. Or just Lizzie, I'm fine. You're just getting beat up and your house I is should, invaded. I, sh I should take some self-defense classes, honestly. Yeah, sounds like it. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy us reacting to this fan fiction. And yeah, have you got anything else to say? No. Goodbye. Fade to black like the storm.